What is up you guys, Josh here, back at it today with a brand new YouTube video. Today we're gonna to be reviewing this brand new jacket or denim vest that I purchased from Rio Leather City. This is their infamous Second Son Delson Road jacket or vest. This is for cosplay purposes and stuff like that or just for average everyday wear. I'm a huge fan of Infamous and Infamous, or at least the character played uh, by voice actor uh, Troy Baker. And I think that this is one of the coolest video games out there. I beat this game so many times uh, when this game first came out and I'm still actually playing this to this very day. So one day over the course of the year, um, while I was doing sort of my Indiana Jones and kind of getting into this whole cosplay thing, um, because when it, sort of these cosplay conventions such as GalaxyCon and um, sort of Convergence uh, here in Minnesota, as well as, you know, things like San Diego Comic-Con and New York Comic-Con pretty much come back online. I'm hoping to one day actually go to some of these con conventions and actually dress up as sort of my favorite movie and video game characters I've already done, sort of Indiana Jones, I've done some Star Wars stuff, I've done, you know, Nathan Drake from Uncharted, and I'm working on a couple of different other stuff in the future, so the cosplay stuff is definitely going to still be here on this channel. My channel is pretty much whatever I want it to be. You know, at some point, I might go back to my movie reviews. I might switch to video game reviews. I might kind of, you know, mix and match content at times because I want to keep this fresh and interesting for you guys. As a video game nerd, as a movie fan, um, you know, a lot of us are sort of into, you know, different facets of geekdom. And this is just one part of it that I really like and I enjoy. Um, I pretty much got into this because of cosplay Chris. And this is one of those characters that I always kind of want to do just because I kind of like Delson Rowe. I kind of related a lot to sort of his story and stuff like that and the character in general. So I went online and I was looking for sort of the perfect infamous style jacket. And this uh, company called The Real Leather City came up. I'm not, you know, being paid by them. I'm not being sort of, you know, given money to kind of review this. So I can pretty much say what I want in this review. And I was actually pleasantly surprised, you know, it took about a week to get here, all things considered with everything currently going on in the current given situation that we find ourselves in. But I really do love this jacket. This jacket is awesome. It looks exactly, you know, true to form what the jacket in the video game looks like. Um, as you guys know, I'm a stickler for things that look very in-universe, things that look, you know, very realistic in portrayal to the character in the video games. Because if I'm cosplaying a character, I really want to look the part and dress the part. Um, there is a couple different issues, and I will be discussing that in this video of things that I wish were a little bit better. Um, for one, I wish that they had the pins that Delson has on his uh, denim vest um, from the games on this jacket or this vest. Um, they don't really have it on this vest just because of the fact that, you know, you would have to get the rights to some of the stuff that they um, do have in sort of the video game, such as Sly Cooper and things like that. But on Amazon, you can purchase sort of replica pins, so I think I might actually end up going and doing that just to kind of put them on the vest here to kind of make it look a little bit unique and pretty much true to what Delson's vest in the Infamous games looks like. Um, in the Infamous Second Son video game, he does also wear sort of a, um, I think it's white and gray sort of vest, uh, similar to this, but in a different color. This does come with a Seattle 138 hoodie, which I really do like. Um, I do have two of the insert coin ones, and had I known that this one came actually with a 138 uh, Seattle hoodie, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but um, you know, due to the fact that I am a cosplayer, I, I like to have multiple different um, sort of hoodies and jackets and stuff, just so that if one of them does wear out, I can just wear the other one and still continue to cosplay as that character. You know, money's kind of tight right now, so um, I'm really into also saving a lot of money on sort of cosplay gear, and this jacket, or this denim vest, I, I like to call it a jacket just because I'm so used to reviewing sort of the Indiana Jones stuff. Um, I went online on Real Leather City and there's is around 130, 140, depending on if you can catch it on a sale and stuff like that and when they're actually selling them. Um, these are in stock so you can still buy these uh, denim vests. But um, one of the things I really do like is sort of this wash look. When I uh, first opened it out of the bag, I'm like, holy crap, like, this looks exactly like the jacket that Delson wears in the games. I can't believe I actually have one of these things. Um, I do wish it was a little bit darker in terms of the blue uh, mixed in with sort of the washed look with the jacket. But other than that, I really do like the fact that they do include sort of these buttons or these pins up here um, like they are in sort of the video games. Um, Delson is a character that you can either have be a good character or a bad character depending on how you play. Um, I tend just to play the good uh, side of the character. I haven't really done a run through of sort of the evil side of Delson. Maybe I will at some point, who knows. Um, but this jacket really does the sort of character justice. It's almost like an in-universe jacket. And that's one of the things I really look for when I'm purchasing jackets, when I'm purchasing denim vests, 
stuff like this, uh, similar to the uh, vest that Delson wears in the games. I, I don't know why I keep calling it a den denim jacket, but whatever. Um, on the back here, you also get sort of the logo of the conduit. On the back, it's kind of like an eagle logo, similar to that of American Eagle. Um, I'm actually wearing sort of my denim um, American Eagle jeans. I know you guys can't see that, but in the video games, Delson kind of wears sort of casual wear, similar to that of Nathan Drake, as well as Joel from The Last of Us. I really do like cosplaying as these characters because some of the stuff I already have, such as my denim uh, jeans, so I can just wear those if I want to from American Eagle. But this was something that I was willing to pay $130 for just because it is well worth it. It looks exactly like the denim vest that's in the games. You don't have to wear it with the hoodie. You can also just wear it with just the vest on, but it's an added touch and it de definitely does help if you have sort of a beanie that looks in either the red color or the maroon color that kind of Delson wears within the games. Now he does have a patch that says 138 on sort of the top here. I could not get the insert coin ones. I'm guessing it's out of stock. So that's why I just settled with the King of Fifth one from Ohio, which also shipped within about a week. I might actually order another one just for cosplay purposes and the fact that I really like their um, sort of stuff. In any case, I'm gonna unbutton this and kind of show you guys the lining in here. It's actually quite nice, especially with the a hoodie as well you know both these have really nice lining in them so if you actually uh, order this jacket you won't be disappointed especially if you're trying to wear this just for casual use and you're not actually trying to cosplay with it like I am all right and as with sort of my own Grady Jurassic World vest uh, you can unbutton this you can wear this without the buttons um, sort of buttoned up and stuff like that I just like it buttoned up just because it kind of adds a little bit more warmth while you're wearing it especially when you're out in the colds like it is here in Minnesota right now you know unfortunately it is spring but you know every once in a while it kind of goes back to sort of those cold wintry weather it kind of reminds us that we're still in sort of the winter weather season here in Minnesota which kind of sucks but you know you get what you get when you live here but this lining is actually quite nice I don't know what it's actually made out of but as you can see you get sort of pockets on here so you can put like a phone or a wallet you can easily fit sort of a wallet in here if you wanted to just to kind of keep it inside so you kind of easily have access to it or a phone like if you want it so um, it's kind of concealed and stuff like that nice lining on here that is also blue um, there is no pockets on the right side of the jacket there's only pockets on the left side which does kind of suck you know, it'd be kind of nice to have another one just in case I kind of want to put a wallet or a phone on this side as well. But I kind of understand why they kind of did that with this uh, vest. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with this vest. I like the fact that it does look the part. It does have sort of this washed look where it's already been sort of worn out and stuff like that, which would have sort of that washed look, especially if it went through the machine and stuff like that a couple times. And with the, you know, fact that, you know, Delson kind of lives in Seattle where it kind of rains and stuff like that, you would get sort of a dirty, grungy kind of look on this jacket, which it kind of kind of gives that feel to it. I really love this denim vest. I am pretty proud of the fact that it does also come up with a zip up hoodie as well. That's one of the things I didn't really ask for and while I'm kind of wearing my Mandalorian uh, t-shirt as well. Um, he does wear sort of a flannel red shirt, which I do have, but I'm not wearing it right now just because I didn't think it was necessary to kind of wear that in this sort of review because I'm just basically reviewing uh, the actual uh, infamous second son, Delson Rowe vest. I'm not actually doing sort of a full cosplay breakdown. If I was kind of doing that, I'd probably be wearing the flannel uh, vest. Maybe I'll do that in the future if you guys kind of want to see everything kind of put together. But it's basically the one that I wore um, in my Joel The Last of Us cosplay, so you can basically use that as well uh, for this cosplay. I like buying stuff that you can kind of use for multiple different cosplays because then you can kind of just put, you know, two and two together and you have stuff for different cosplays. You don't have to go out and, you know, physically buy other stuff unless you want to. But um, I'm going to take this vest off and kind of show you guys what it looks like uh, not wearing it. Um, on the inside, you know, it's pretty standard material. Um, it's nothing too fancy. On the outside, you get that really cool looking uh, logo right here, which is the uh, infamous Second Son uh, conduit logo, which I like. It's got sort of the uh, back piece that has sort of the buttons on it that I mentioned before and sort of that uh, pattern that, you know, Delson is known for in the infamous games. But overall, I'm a very happy, happy camper when it comes to uh, this denim vest. I really do think it was worth the $140. I really don't have too many complaints to it other than the fact that I wish it was a little bit darker in terms of the color like it is in the video games. I do like the wash look and I think it's very cool looking, especially in sort of the environment that he is in the video games and it kind of relates a little bit to Minnesota where I live. Especially when I'm cosplaying, it's going to be a little bit different from everybody else who's trying to cosplay as Delson Rome. 
Um, but hopefully you guys like this review. Um, let me know in the comment section down below, are you going to be picking this up before your infamous second son, Del Sumero cosplay? Uh, what did you think of the denim vest that I actually picked up for this uh, cosplay? Uh, do you think it looks exactly like the one in the games, or would you uh, like me to try and get the in insert coin one that they did sell a while ago? They don't sell it anymore. That's the only reason why I didn't buy it and kind of why I went out and bought a much more expensive uh, sort of denim vest. But um, I really do like this either way, and I think it was worth the money. So if you guys like this, if you like sort of the review that I did for this uh, denim vest, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.